In Onshape, you have a group of direct model editing commands, and these include modify fillet, delete face, move face, and replace face. In this video, we'll take a look at using modify fillet. I will click on the command and it opens up the dialog box. Then you can select the surface or face of a fillet that you want to change. Here it shows the current radius, which is three. If I want to have a different number, just plug in the value that you want and hit the enter key. Then we can hit the check mark and we've updated the model and we have a modify fillet feature in our tree. Let's take a look at another option in the dialog box. We can click on the command, select the face, and this time instead of changing the radius, I'm going to remove the fillet. And you can see a preview of how it'll end up squaring off the surface. Let's hit the check mark, and that way we've gotten rid of the fillet out of the model. In these particular situations, I just selected a single face, but of course you can pick multiple faces with the left mouse button. Let's take a look at an example where there might be multiple entities that we want to select. So here I have another imported model. Let's go to the modify fillet command. And let's say that I have a whole bunch of fillets down here that I want to remove. Well, let's change to remove fillet. And at this point, I could pick them one by one, but that would be very tedious. Instead, if I hold down the right mouse button, I can use the create selection command to pick what I want. And in this dialog box, you can select faces or edges. I'm going to select faces. Then I'll change the drop down list from the default protrusion to fillets. And right now it's set to find any fillets of an equal radius to what I select, but you could choose equal or smaller, equal or greater but equals good. Let me select a face and you can see that it is selecting quite a few entities here. Tells me that it has 160 faces selected. Wow, that would have been a lot of left mouse clicks. Let's add selection and we can close the create selection dialog box. Everything here looks good. Let's hit the check mark and that way we've gotten rid of all those fillets out of the model. Now for another example, let's modify fillet. And once again, I am going to create a selection and let's go to one of these small fillets over here. And this time it picked up, oops, I have it set to protrusion. Let's try that again. Let's change this to fillets. Let me move the dialog box over a little bit and then select a face. And this time it grabbed 32 faces, 32 fillets. Let's add selection, close out of here. And the fillet right now is three. Hey, let's make that bigger. Let's make this a value of five. That looks good. Hit the check mark. And that way I've modified the fillets. And I use this for imported geometry. You can use this on both imported geometry and native on shape features. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.